Okay, Ronnie. Okay, hello everyone. And thanks for joining today's webinar, the fourth in the series of step up webinars, which you will surely find helpful and informative. Before we begin, I would like to show you our new video, which presents in 90 seconds who Stepak is. Stepak is a leading global developer and manufacturer of lean and sustainable modified atmosphere packaging solutions for fresh produce. Our innovative packaging preserves quality increases shelf life and reduces waste. Our approach is uniquely holistic. With a deep understanding of the industry, we hold close long-term customer relationships and continuously innovate to meet market trends. At Stepback, we listen to client needs and provide simple solutions for complicated supply chain challenges. By combining post-harvest scientific expertise with sophisticated polymer and packaging engineering and advanced manufacturing capabilities, operating in over 25 countries through a worldwide network of leading distributors. We are a passionate global team with a unique spirit and a shared vision of the future of fresh produce. Step back your number one choice for fresh produce packaging. Great. What benefit will you gain from this webinar? You will learn about the new and exciting products that Stepak has developed. The innovative automatic packing system not only extends shelf life and reduce waste, but also supports recent market trends, including the transition to automated packing, sustainability, by reducing the use of plastics. The presenters that you will meet today are two of our experts. Ivo Tunchel, Business Development Manager for South America, over 25 years with Stepak, will present the bulk flow pack system known as XFlow. XFlow is a series of unique patented film structures that were developed to facilitate automated packing of produce traditionally packed in preformed bag bulk packaging. As you will see, the use of these tailor-made films reduces dependency on labor, a limited resource right now, increases productivity, reduces the use of plastic by up to 30%, and like all Stepax packaging products, extends shelf life and reduces waste in the supply chain. Dr. Gary Ward, Global Business Development Manager, close to 20 years within the company, will present three generations of recyclable Exgo leading film solutions that have been developed by Stepak to support growth in the retail and in e-commerce sector and bring value to the end consumer with functional films. Both presentations will be accompanied by explanation of the technology and case studies demonstrating the use. At the end of the presentation, we have allocated 10 to 15 minutes for Q&A, you're more than welcome to send us uh, your question during the presentation, and we will try to address as many as possible by the end of the sessions. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to my colleague, Ivo Tunchel, to begin the journey. Hello. Uh, can you see the screen? Yes. Okay, yes. good. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today. Before I started, I'd like to say some words in Spanish. Uh, a los que están uh, acá por la lengua es, eh, española, eh, eh, español, 
Eh, esos mil disculpas porque tuvimos un problema técnico con la traducción simultánea en español y portugués, eh, pero estaremos a disposición de ustedes después de, de, de la presentación eh, en infoestepac.com para poder hablar en español con ustedes y hacer la presentación personalmente para ustedes. Well, coming back to our presentation, uh, I would like to tell, talk a little bit about flowback bulk uh, systems. Uh, let's start with the development. Okay, extend bulk bags was known for a long time, and uh, uh, by the efficiency, by the polymers that we are using, and the quality of the the produce that we are packing. Okay. Uh, after that, we started with our system X flow, which we are going to discuss today. We observed that the main problems in the packing house for the bulk was the timing consuming to, to close the bags, to, 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 to put the fruits inside the bags. So we used to, to use the, the, the knots and this take times for everybody. So we launched a new idea that makes this operation easier, faster, and cheaper. What, are, were, what was the operation? Uh, it was the X-Flow, flow pack machine. But we had a problem. Uh, not, in the market was not available uh, machinery that they can take big boxes. Normally, the, the machinery for X-Flow are for small uh, sizes. And we had a problem of having them uh, to, to use our special films because not all the films are, of, uh, are okay for uh, MA and uh, modified atmosphere, modified humidity. So uh, these new machines has to take boxes of 40 by 60, 30 by 40, 40 by 50, and it was very difficult. So what we did, we contacted a producer of machinery, international, and then we developed together with them a special machine with special uh, details in this machine that it will, uh, it will do a perfect sealing and it will take big boxes uh, to do the, the bulk flow pack. At the same time, we had to develop as well the film because it's not only the machine, we had the film to, to do the bulk but the same uh, film that it was used for the bulk was not good enough for the flow pack because we have to have fast sealing. We have other conditions that uh, the, the bulk pack doesn't need it. So we developed this new film with the same uh, quality and capability of the and, and, and uh, properties of the, the film for the bulk. This means modify atmosphere, modify humidity as we had before. Here you can see the, uh, the evolution, what we had. At the beginning, a lot of plastic in the box, uh, closing by, by elastic band, uh, rubber band or knots. And then after that, we, we start doing a, a, a hot seal uh, system. Uh, in this case, uh, was fast closure. It was better presentation. It was more uniformity in the ceiling, more cost effective and less plastic because we, we could reduce the size of the bags in this, uh, in this way. But it was not enough. We have to do something else. And it's very important to mention that we have different films with unique features for each produce that we are dealing with. Uh, we, as uh, Rani mentioned, we have more than 50 types of produce uh available today in our packaging so for each produce we have to study different permeabilities and different needs for each one so we did it we study uh, we study new possibilities to avoid lo losing time the ones that works with uh, blueberries or, or any other product that use clamshells knows the problem of the uh, the bottlenecking to put all the, the panels inside the box or inside the bags and then close it. So we develop a new film with faster sealing properties, optimal gas and humidity permeability, permeability that is compatible with flow pack machine for the blueberries, especially for that. And here you can see it in operation, 
how easy it is and how fast is the operation dealing with this new system. We need only two people feeding the, the, the conveyor. Now we have different solutions with robots as well, which is already in use in some of our clients. Very even ceiling system, very nice presentation. Here you, you just need uh, also two people to deal with the putting the box. But today also we have already in use uh, robots putting the, the, the boxes, the, the cartons with the film inside the, the box. So we are advanced on this. So uh, practically we, the machine is work by itself. Increasing shelf life and food safety, increasing cap capacity of production, reducing packing costs, relocate workforces and new product designs. Here, I'm going to show you the benefits why are what are the benefits of this less plastics reduce the amount of plastics and material required as a, as much as 30 percent higher productivity automated packing is more efficient than manual packing in bulk liners more cost effective reduction in production cost reduction in labors reduction in, in plastic reduction in, in in space in your packing house Food safety, faster operation with less people and less human interference. Better functionality. Here you can see the, the arrows here showing that you have better airflow through the pallets. What does it mean? It means that you have fast cooling in your packing house and you have the homogeneity temperature among the, the, the boxes while in transportation by container because you have more air flowing other directions and you have more homogeneity in temperature. Okay, now we, we were talking to now in, in, in clamshells and punnets uh, for the fruits, but not all the, 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 the shipments are done in, in, in punnets or in clamshells. Uh, most of you, you need to use also bulk shipments doesn't doesn't mean bulks for three kilos four kilos six kilos and it's not an easy task because you have very small fruits that you cannot just put in in the conveyor and then the conveyor will take it to the flow pack machine so we develop a system that we use uh, um, trays can can be carton trays can be paper trays can be plastic trays and then we feed the trays with uh, the fruits and then we pass these trays through the machine and then we have this nice solution and very very useful for for the ones that has to repack the produce later on here it's i i want to show you uh, uh, the arrivals in china of our produce Here you can see the receivers and the, the appreciation that the receivers are having with the, our system, new system. Here you can see that we pick up a box in the middle of the distribution center to check the quality of the fruits in our packaging. And as you can see, a perfect bloom. We don't lose any bloom. Fruits are firm and very nice. Yes, as you can see, the appreciation of the receivers are very, very high. And this is very important. It's also very good for the e-commerce. 
when you are uh, thinking in selling in e-commerce, you have to have a good presentation of your goods and can go to the end uh, of the, the chain. The same concept was used to pack cherries in plastic containers to 2.5 and 5 kilos. So why not to do with different produce, right? So here you can see the excellent presentation that we have in, in plastic panels here. It's a regular plastic panels, no, no any, anything special. And then you have an excellent presentation. You can ship it in, in plastic crates. You can, you can ship it in carton boxes the way you deserve. But not only uh, in, in plastic uh, panels we can use. We can use also in paper box panels, which means that our people that they are trying to reduce the quantity of plastics in their packaging. So this is a perfect solution because we substitute the, the plastic by, by uh, paper. And the same quality, the same, pro, the same uh, facility, there is no uh, problem at all with this uh, system. The same productivity as before, but including the possibility of resealable label, which is very, very interesting. Because normally when you do flow pack, you cannot, it's difficult to open or you cannot open the, the, the bags very easily. So, but in this case, you can pick up the fruit that inside the, the, the system, the, the packaging, uh, without tearing the bags. The labels can be placed in different positions and with different sizes. Here you can see how nice is this label, how easy it is to take the fruit. If, of course, with a bigger label, you can easily take other fruits as well, higher, bigger fruits, and it works perfectly. And the, 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 the nice thing of this is that when you close the label again, in very few time, you rebuild the modified atmosphere that was inside the bag. Because of the respiration of the fruit, we re rebuild the, the, the modified atmosphere. Here you can see that not only with, with small fruits we are dealing with, we deal as well with big, uh, big fruits like melons, which are not easy to put in a flow pack machine. But we developed this system with a trace, and we have other systems as well that can uh, cope with your needs that we can sh uh, ship and we can pack big melons as well. Not only melons, but uh, uh, papaya and other fruits, mangoes, the other fruits that you can imagine, stone fruits, we can do it, kiwi and other fruits. This is the traditional way that we used to do in the past with the knots and with the excess of plastic. Now you can see this nice presentation that is done when you use the flow pack. Nice presentation, less plastic and more efficiency. Here you can see different produce that are packed today in our system. As I mentioned before, the blueberries, now we have uh, vegetables as well. We have many different types of vegetable salads that has been packed in this system. Taking always the advantage of modify atmosphere and modify humidity. This is very important. It's not a regular flow pack system. It's a system that will uh, in, in improve the shelf life of your products. But we have also, we have to look at the operational, operational implications of uh, automated vers versus manual packaging, right? On manual packaging, we have what we have to occupy a lot of space in your packing house because we need different machines. We have to have distance between the machinery. We have to use a lot of people, at least three people to operate each machine. And it's a lot of space and depends a lot on people's skills. Why is that? Because not everybody, not all the employees have the same skills of sealing and putting the, 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 the bags in the machine. So always you have different uh, machinery, uh, 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 sealing uh, results. But with the automation, you have other advantages less space taken in your packing house, less people use, about 50% uh, less people use in your packing house, higher productivity, better social distance. This is very important with in, our, in our today's problems of uh, COVID. 
and food safety, less people touching the, the, the food, and much more productivity for sure. We were going to have a reduction of about 60% in ceiling costs, if you think like this. And we we'll have you have much more space in your packing house to, to, to arrange different things. Uh, it's not new for us. Only last year we we did more than 40 million X flow units sold all over the world. So it's something that we have confidence, we know what we are doing and the results of this. So I would like to thank you very much for your, your, your patience here. And now I will hand over to uh, Dr. Gary Ward, which will talk a little bit about uh, uh, other uh, things that we have, new things that we have. Gary, you can turn on the video. Yeah, thank you very much, Eva. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. so thank you very much for that uh, insight into XFlow and its applications, very fascinating. And uh, now I would look, like to talk to you about uh, Exco Living Film and the three generations of solutions that we've developed over the last few years. So let's first of all talk about uh, market uh, dynamics. Um, um, so a market analysis on living film in the fresh produce industry shows that the main drivers for its use are shelf life extension and reduction in waste when combined with properly designed modified atmosphere, a reduction in 25 to 30% plastic versus conventional clam shells as a result of replacing a bulky plastic lid with a flexible film. So that's a step in the right direction to reducing the use of plastic. And also uh, uh, it supports automated packing processes with less labor dependency, similar to what Evo was referring to before. During the Corona crisis, like many sectors, the fresh produce industry suffered from a huge shortage in labor, which driving a transition to automation. Now, the restraints are uh, stringent regulations on packaging material waste and recycling that are beginning to take effect, mainly in Europe. And inevitably, all solutions will have to be fully recyclable or in certain constituencies, uh, compostable. And there are opportunities as well, because uh, there's a growing retail, and in particular, a growing e-commerce sector out there, which represent opportunities for the continued growth of living film in the fresh produce sector. So the future for living film is rosy. Let's talk about the benefits uh, uh, for fresh produce. Well, as I mentioned before, transition from clamshells represents a 25 to 30% reduction in plastic use and a step to be more sustainable. Increased shelf life helps reduce food waste and increases food safety when the top seal solution renders a modified atmosphere properties. And for those that are not familiar, uh, modified atmosphere is based on the principle that in the presence of low oxygen and elevated carbon dioxide, you can slow respiration, inhibit ethylene, and if the produce tolerates sufficiently high carbon dioxide, you can also have uh, obtain a fungistatic or bacteriostatic effect. And that three-pronged effect will result in shelf life extension and waste reduction in the, the supply chain. Okay. And also, if you take the, the, the lidding film and you apply advanced functionality, such as resealability, and, uh, which facilitates multiple servings, then you can provide even more value to the consumer because each time the consumer opens up the packaging, removes produce and reseals, then the, the, the package will continue to preserve the quality. So it's all about bringing value to the end consumer. Now, aware of these market trends and the benefit that such packaging solutions could bring, Step Act went in search of opportunities. And one of the first 
large opportunities that we recognize was sea freight of cherries from Chile to China. Chile, for those that you're not aware, is the largest exporter of fresh cherries in the world, and the vast majority is shipped to mainland China. And the challenge was to develop a solution with modified atmosphere properties that would be reliable enough to preserve the quality during the lengthy sea freight from Chile to China, which can exceed 35 days, avoid the need for repacking on arrival and help support the development of a growing retail and e-commerce sector in China. And developing such a solution requires a deep understanding of fruit physiology and pathology and the interaction with packaging des uh, design. And furthermore, uh, the, the understanding of the factors that influence the behavior such as post-harvest handling and prevailing supply chain conditions. And so a fully recyclable Exco Easy Peel Lidding Film solution was born that facilitated sea freight of cherries all the way from Chile to China. And the result was better presentation than the alternative bags that we used at the term time, more cost effective, because there's less labor dependency, better ventilation and faster cooling because of the design, excellent modified atmosphere properties, excellent condensation control. And as I mentioned before, ultimately it supported the growth in retail and e-commerce sectors in China. And that's a product that's, develop, uh, that's growing in popularity. Now, after that success, we then took the same concept to the Peruvian and Chilean blueberry exporters and developed customized solutions that facilitated sea freight of blueberries from, from those countries to Europe. And again, reiterate the, uh, the success was highly dependent on uh, the understanding of post-harvest uh, physiology and pathology and the interaction with packaging design. And ultimately, that led to us designing an optimal solution that preserved the quality all the way to the end consumer. And here in this uh, slide, you can see on the left-hand side, packing in Peru of the blueberries and the same blueberries arriving in Holland after lengthy sea freight. On the next slide, we can see packing blueberries in the same packing packaging in Chile before sea freight to Europe. So highly successful. And again, the success is really dependent upon having a reliable packaging design that takes into consideration physiology, uh, uh, post-harvest handling and prevailing supply chain conditions. Okay. Now, the same concept has also been ad adopted extensively in the pomegranate industry for preserving the quality of arils during lengthy supply chains with customers in the USA, India and Peru reporting shelf life as, as much as 17 days post packing. And for this high value produce item, oops, um, um, every additional day means less waste and higher profitability for the packer and also higher quality for the consumer. Because you, as you can imagine, if you're packing in modified atmosphere, then at any one moment in time, you can expect that the quality of the produce will be uh, superior to the non-modified atmosphere variant. Also, we have... Um, moment we have uh, um, nature suite in the united states is using our living film uh, for ready to eat tomatoes that are being packed in trays and sealed with this living film in mexico and then sold in the united states and canada as an on-the-go snack and since uh, it's ready to eat macro perforated packaging cannot be used for from the uh, pers uh, perspective of food safety. So they're using our film with laser perforation that not only preserving the quality during their supply chain for the end consumer, but it's also uh, uh, ensuring food safety. And thanks to, to Nature Suite for allowing us to present uh, this video uh, today. And that's a, 
a highly successful uh, project together with them. Now, after gaining success with uh, the first generation of the Easy Peel Lidding Film, we listened to our customers and we developed a new solution, okay, with the same performance as the Easy Peel, but with the ability to be reopened and resealed on uh, multiple occasions. Here you can see the, the first prototype, the testing. The key was developing a solution that provides all the value of the Easy Peel solution, including modified atmosphere and condensation control, but also with a reliable opening and closing mechanism, which I can assure you is no easy feat. And we successfully developed a solution that enables opening and resealing for over uh, 10 times. And the product also includes a tamper evident device, which enhances food safety. And the outcome was phenomenal and addressed the needs of both the Chileans for reducing labor cost and also the Chinese customers looking to bring value to the customer, their consumers, and drive the growing e commerce and retail sectors. The resealability of the film enables the consumer to open it, remove a given amount for consumption, and then reseal. Here you can see Evo uh, in, Ch uh, in, in China demonstrating the, the functionality of the product. And it really is an elegant product that's growing in popularity amongst the Chilean exporters, in particular for produce that uh, arrives ahead of the Chinese New Year, uh, because it's particularly suitable as a gift uh, during that period. Now, the success of the, the second generation has also led to an alternative variant in which a die cut is applied to the, uh, the, the, the film, and um, then a resealable label is applied over the die cut. And this resembles the wet wipe solutions that you're all familiar with. And, uh, and for many, the, this is more intuitive, in particular for the Chinese, the, the resealable label is more intuitive to them than the resealable uh, lidding film that I uh, showed you before. And both this solution is also being used for sea freight of cherries from Chile uh, and is growing in popularity. And like uh, all of the other solutions is applicable not only for, uh, for cherries but, uh, and blueberries, but for many types of produce items uh, uh, that are served in multiple servings, including berries and fresh cut fruits. And the, the product is, uh, can be customized and the size of the label can be customized as well. So in summary, Market trends are driving the growth of lidding film solutions in the fresh produce sector. It represents a reduction in 25 to 30% plastic versus conventional clamshells, supports automated packing processes with less labor dependency. And when combined with modified atmosphere, there's shelf life extension and waste reduction. And that's our expertise, modified atmosphere packaging. That's what we deal with exclusive, exclusively nothing else and we probably offer the broadest range of uh, packaging formats and solutions uh, of any of the companies that operate in this sector. Now we recognized these trends and we developed three generations of unique solutions that extend shelf life and meets the needs of, for bringing value. The first is the fully recyclable easy peel living film solutions the second generation is an all-in-one, fully recyclable, resealable living film solution that continues to preserve the quality each time the package is resealed. So we're taking the value all the way to the consumer. Less produce being dumped in the home. Uh, third generation living film solution with a resealable label for those that prefer uh, this format. And I can tell you that in the last year, the, the Exco living film packaging products have been used to pack over 50 million uh, units of produce globally, and that's growing, and we're really excited about that. So thank you for your attention, uh, and, and we'll be very pleased to answer any questions uh, that have come in over the last 35 minutes. So, Hila, I'll pass over to you, and if you can present some of the questions that we've received.
and will gladly answer. Thank you very much. Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for sharing. We are impressed with the number of guests. Here are questions that we received. Gary, can you please answer this one? So you presented your new solutions mainly for cherries and blueberries. Are you going to expand the list of products that you can benefit from the, the new uh, packaging? Um, yeah, so I think, Evo, do you want to take that question? Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure. Uh, when you use, uh, we, we, we show to you different solutions for cherries and, uh, cherries and blueberries, but also, uh, it was mentioned during my presentation that we have a, a lot of new produce that we are dealing already, and some of them we are in process of, appro of approval of final testing. So it's not only for cherries and blueberries. Uh, we can take a lot of uh, different uh, different produce. Okay. Uh, the second question: Are we going to send the products that can be? Oh yes, we can. Uh, we can uh, extend. Yes, and if you have any special request for us, we are more than happy to talk to you and 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 do a project together to develop this new new products solution. Yeah, but if I could just elaborate on what you said, Evo. Um... You know, obviously, the, the Explo is being used for, for blueberries, uh, uh, cherries. It started to be used for, uh, for it's already been used for green onions in North America. It's been used, it started to be used for melons and uh, it's, it's been adapted for stone fruit, kiwi and pomegranates. But for, for vertical form fill and seal applications, it's particularly suitable as well. And it's it, and it's be it's very popular. Uh, for, for packing green beans for food service uh, um, operations because uh, green beans are extremely sensitive to moisture and they benefit from this uh, type of film that's being used, which helps uh, eliminate excess moisture. Uh, yes. About, yeah, and, and with the lidding and film... Also, and yeah, also but, talking about uh, form, vertical form fill and seal, also we are doing a lot with salads, with the big portions for the hotels and restaurants and uh, catering. So yes, it's we have a lot of solutions. Yeah and, question. yeah, and regarding the lidding film, it's, I mean, yeah, we presented uh, mainly uh, blueberries, uh, uh, cherries and pomegranate areas, but it, the, the, it's suitable for all types of berries, fresh herbs, fresh cut salads, and, uh, and many more. And, uh, and the resealable format is particularly suitable for for any tray designed for multiple servings. No. Okay, thank you. Here's another question. Eva, can you take this one? Uh, I think that uh, this is better for, for Gary. Gary, go ahead. Gary, sorry. What's, what's the main uh, differentiator of Step Back compared to competitors film? So I think Eva mentioned during this presentation, we use different films with different water vapor transmission rates for, for different applications. And uh, in our portfolio, we have over 17 different film structures with different pro properties suitable for different applications. And as I mentioned before, probably have the broadest full portfolio of packaging formats available out of all the comp companies operating in this sector. Our expertise is in developing such film stru structures and then selecting the film with the most suitable properties for the produce and the application, and then regulating its permeability to achieve the desired modified atmosphere in terms of oxygen and carbon dioxide uh, levels. Specifically for X-Flow, we can supply films with web width of up to 1,000 millimeters, but the the limiting factor in this respect is typically the, the maximum web width of the, the flow pack machine. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons, as uh, Eva mentioned, we collaborated with a well-known manufacturer of, of flow pack machines. We designed and manufactured a, a, a special model that's specifically for, for, for such wide webs. And, uh, and in, in Peru and Chile, uh, our films are, are being used together with uh, 
uh, those machines. And anybody that's interested, we can uh, we can recommend uh, the machinery. And the, and the films that are being used with those machines have very good mechanical and sealing properties, and uh, and uh, are very good for very suitable for flow packing. Thank you. Uh I see now that we will not be able to answer all the questions. We will proceed and we'll answer directly the questions that were not uh, answered during this, uh, until the, at the end of time. Yeah, I see very interesting questions here, but uh, due to the time, I think that we don't have time to do it, but uh, for sure we are going to address the, the answers uh, in private for each of the, the ones that uh, made the, the question to us. Okay, Ivo, can you take this one? Um, okay, we uh, we don't need a special machine, mainly if we are talking about uh, uh, leading film. The leading film machine is almost the same as uh, you use for a regular leading film. Uh, in the case of uh, flow pack, the X flow, yes, sometimes depends on the the. The, the, the design or the, the needs of or the, the composition of our film, we prefer to use bo uh, box motion machinery uh, in some cases. In other cases, we can also use rotatory uh, system, and but this is, should be a, a, a check it case by case, because as it was mentioned before, we have different formulations for different projects. And some formulations are easy to, to be sealed and some formulations is not that easy. So that's the reason we prefer the box motion because the box motion can take all the, the types of films that we are using. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Gary, the last question. What's the question? Um, okay. Recyclability. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah, I've got that, Eva. I've got that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Recyclability op uh, options. Uh, so the XFlow films for chair, uh, for, for that were presented all fall into recycling category number seven and can be recycled for downstream applications. Okay. The Easy peel leading film is mechanically uh, recyclable uh, and the resealable leading film is mechanically recyclable when it is disposed of together with the, the, the punnet. Okay, so it should not be, be detached from the punnet. And, and um, the, the easy peel and resealable leading film both belong to the recycling category uh, uh, number one. Okay. Yeah. We have another one here, uh, cold chain, right, uh, Ilan? Yes. Okay, I can take this one. Uh, if, if the cold chain cannot be insured, is there any compromised way of using MAP? Normally, no. Normally, no. The uh, but uh, it's uh, uh, it's very important to see the final temperature that we need for each produce before put putting in the the bags or even shipping the, the goods okay if you don't have a, a, a very good go, uh, good cold chain uh, sometimes for different produce like let, let's say for blueberries you need uh, to have the fruits at about eight degrees centigrade or less in order not to to have any any problem of condensation this kind of things but in general in general we don't have any problem and we can uh, adjust our film in some cases for special cases uh, that you don't have the, the uh, optimum cold chain in your system. We can adjust our film to have more, more permeability for gases or humidity uh, to, to, to fit your needs. Okay. Evo. I think, uh, uh, Rani, before he lands over to you, I think it's uh, all those questions that uh, are unanswered, and uh, I can see some of them we will answer by email. 
Yeah, we will yes, answer by course. email, step offline, and also uh, uh, we would be happy if you need more information, you want to contact us, then the easiest way would, to, would be to use the info at stepac.com and we will address it to the right person uh, within Stepac and come back to you uh, shortly. So uh, thank you very much, everyone. And we look forward to see you on our next webinar. And thank you also, panelists. Thank you. We'll answer you thank personally. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.